Hello, my name is Paula Brown, and I'm running for Judge Civil District Court Division J. I'm number one on the ballot. Number one. Number one. Miss Brown, how you doing? I'm doing excellent. Well, thank you for your time on behalf of NewOrleansBlack.com and the 60,000 viewers that we have. We do appreciate it. Thank you for having me. Um, this is meant to be a conversation. We just want 10 minutes of your time as a way for our audience to get an opportunity to see who you are and how you will be as our judge. Okay. All right, so first and foremost is uh, let's play like we don't know you, even though we know you're one of the most infamous people in the city. Infamous. Let's, if we don't know you, who is Ms. Brown? Talk to us. Take us back to your childhood and bring us to the current day. Okay. I was uh, born and raised in Ocean Springs, Mississippi. Okay. Came to New Orleans in 1982 on a basketball scholarship to Tulane. Really? Completed my four years there. Uh, worked a little bit before I decided to go back to law school. Attended Southern University Law Center. Okay. Graduated in 1992 and began working in this community, and I've worked in this community for 17 years. All right, and you've done that as an attorney? Absolutely, okay. as an attorney. Uh, I started off with the law office of Marie Bookman. Okay. Uh, I practiced both plaintiffs and defense litigation. Uh, I served as judicial law clerk to Judge Burnett Johnson. Yeah. And when she was elected to the Louisiana Supreme Court, I was her first law clerk at the Supreme Court, mm. so she took me with her. Okay. And uh, I am currently trial counsel for uh, Hartford Insurance Group, where I've been for the past nine and a half years. So you have experience in criminal, civil, and the Supreme Court of Louisiana? Yes, that's absolutely correct. Okay, good. And more importantly, 2004, I was appointed by the Supreme Court to sit as a judge pro tempore in civil district court. All right, well, wonderful. Um, you had to get that in. I absolutely <laughs> Why are you running for this position? This has been such an interesting political time because we've had the opportunity to interview a lot of different candidates and, and learn their motives of why they're running. What, what's got you motivated? Well, first of all, most of my career I have been dedicated to public service. As I indicated, I've clerked in both the Silver District Court and the Supreme Court. Uh -huh. uh, I've been trial counsel for Regional Transit Authority. And I am there, I am ready to give myself, offer myself to the public as a servant to them because that's who we work for, right. we're for the citizens of this parish. Um, when I sat in 2004, I think it enlightened me. Um, it opened my eyes to, uh, number one, to see the type of judge that I want to be when I go in front of the judge. So I know what lawyers are also looking for, and I'm not saying that we don't have good judges on the bench because we do, uh, but I know what I can offer. Mm -hmm. uh, in addition, the next civil district court judge, I don't know if you know this, the junior judges are assigned to the family court docket. Mm -hmm. And there's some, some programs I like to implement th there uh, that I'm real passionate about. Well, this is a perfect time to talk about that because one of the things I wanted to ask is about some of your initiatives. So let's talk about you as a judge. What will you bring? What are the changes? What are the new programs? Well, uh, the two programs that I made reference to, one is called Voices for Children, okay. and the other one is called It's Not My Fault. Uh, Voices for Children is a program for the adults. It's designed to mm. teach the, the mother and father going through separation, divorce, or even custody battles, or even child support issues. It teaches them how to deal and make decisions in the best interest of the child. Wow. A lot of times what we see is a pulling and a tugging between the two parents, mm -hmm. not because of the child, but to get back at each other. Mm -hmm. And so mm -hmm. this program has now, it, it, it is implemented in 24 JDC, it goes well. Uh, the second program that is, goes with that is It's Not My Fault. Okay. And that's an art-based program for the child or children so that they know that the divorce or separation or even the issues that the parents are having is not their fault. And I think that is, uh, very important to me as well because I am a product of divorce. I'm a product of separation and divorce and I actually felt at some point uh, when my parents separated that I did something wrong. Hmm. And so I think that's a very important initiative and uh, I like to push that forward in Division J. That's interesting and, and, and something that certainly that's useful. Now you, um, as a judge, have to have fairness, but we know with this this state, we've seen cases like the, the judge who refused to marry interracial couples. We've seen personal opinions override. How do you make sure you offer fairness and equity in all of your 
decisions that you make and in your practices as a judge, meaning who you hire, any outsourcing that's ever done. Talk to fairness and equity. Well, I think that uh, comes without saying, at least for me. Mm -hmm. um, my reputation basically speaks for itself. And when I sat in 2004, uh, I made decisions based upon the evidence uh, and the facts that were before me. I think that uh, when we take an oath, uh, that is an oath of honor, that is an oath that we are given to the citizen, citizens of this parish, mm -hmm. promising to be fair and equitable. And um, the problem is we cannot forget who we work for, and we work for the citizens. That's so true. Um, Talk a little bit about um, the audience that we represent, is, as you know, is 60,000 individuals in our database and about 85 plus percent of those are African American. What does it mean for you, or um, let me say it again, what does it mean to our audience that you would be elected judge uh, over Section J? Well, I, I think that it is, uh, it would be uh, phenomenal. I think that I'm very qualified for the position. Mm -hmm. Uh, I offer uh, my experiences, uh, but in addition to that, I think that Division J will need someone who will understand the issues of the people that will come before it, and particularly I'm talking about family court. 90% mm -hmm. um, of the uh, litigants in family court are pro se, meaning they represent themselves. Okay. Uh, they need to be dealt with with respect. Uh, they need to be respected just as those litigants who come in who are fortunate enough to have attorneys. Mm. Uh, I will offer that, I will offer fairness, I will have an open ear and an open door policy, and I will work past hours if I need to to clear the docket for those who are not fortunate enough to have attorneys. Wow, very good. I appreciate that. <coughs> um, <coughs> the last me. thing that we'll do is we'll go to our Facebook friends and we'll get a chance to ask the last question. I know um, you had a chance to look at these, and the question you chose was number one. Yes. Uh, Dewan Cooper writes, what are you going to do to make our city better? What can we do to help jobless in our city? And what I would like to do for you, because this doesn't directly affect your job, but I'd like to know your opinion on what could be done to help jobless. But more overall, what can you do to make New Orleans a better place? Well, I, I think offering, without tooting my own horn, mm -hmm. although I am, Offering and myself you it's as okay. a public servant, uh, I am honest, uh, I am fair, I am impartial, I am, uh, my reputation precedes me in that manner. So I think that if the citizens of this parish decide to elect me as their next ju judge of civil district court, they will not have made a mistake. All right. And I will not let them down. <laughs> well, look. It's been a great interview. We got a chance to learn a little bit more about you. And I got to take you to the basketball court because I'm an Indiana <coughs> coach, And I got a feeling I can hang with you. I can bit. play now. All right. But I'm going to give you the last 30 seconds, if you would, please, to just address the audience and ask them to vote for you. And, and don't forget to mention your ballot number. Thank you very much for having me here tonight. My name is Paula Brown. I am running for Judge Civil District Court Division J. I am number one on the, on the ballot. I am asking for your support. Please vote number one. Thank you.